We are Legion. We are all. We are one. We are watching. Horde Illuminati. Welcome to a special edition of the Horde Illuminati podcast. It's Adam, Greg, and Biggs from New Zealand. How are you doing, Biggs? Not too bad. Isolating myself from all you guys over here at the moment. I've decided to move to New Zealand and stay here away from all your viruses. Well, being, being on the international date, that side of the international date line, you do know that you know what's happening before we... Yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. You're, you're all cured. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it's been so nice to us. <laughs> Only one of you dies. So which one is it? Find out tomorrow. Oh, man. So we're here to talk about the uh, big news of this week, Vintage Series 4. And just kind of uh, go through what happened yesterday, what went right, nothing. And then what, what, what else happened with it? So... Um, Biggs is our guest. Uh, take us through because this is something you've been looking forward to. Well, yeah. So I I was pretty bored of the app at the beginning of the year, and so what I said to um, all the friends in the app is I said, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna put together original vintage this year. It's gonna be my goal for 2020. I'm just gonna take it. I was just saying to Greg before, I'm just gonna take it really slowly. By no shape of the imagination am am I anywhere close? But I just thought you know put it together, and then they suddenly and oh and then I did I did a vintage Lando on Reddit. But it just just a bit of graphic design. Just was having a bit of fun and just thought, you know, there's all these um, images, like quite iconic images from all the new films of Ray and the Falcon and Lando and the Falcon and so on. Um, Al three and the Falcon, Chewie and the Falcon, you know. And so I just thought thought you could do a whole series of you know like homaging um, uh, characters in the Falcon. And so so I did that. I read it. So I've I've gradually been getting interest in this stupid series one vintage, and then <laughs> and then Tops very kindly decided to celebrate by making me collect them in um, three weeks. <laughs> so your your slow walk through a vintage that was going to be seven eight months into this freaking mad miserable rush of of overpays. And, uh, <laughs> Just absolutely blowed up values. Well, let's talk about yesterday. And first, let's talk about the, the, the show we did yesterday because at the time we recorded yesterday morning, we had no idea what, what anything was going to be. And, and we really, you know, we kind of, I did a lot of speculating and trying to figure out what, you know, were these just going to be, uh, were they going to be count limited, number one? Mm. And they were. Um, but they set them at a level that made sense based off the, the old ones, which came out, you know, around 2,500. <clears throat> one in 10 at 3,000 coins um, was very reasonable. And, and 250 <clears throat> for a single or uh, what was it? 12.50 for six, um, which actually took it under a buck a piece. Meant you could put together the set for ten bucks in crystals, which really wasn't that bad. Plus, you had the bonus of the sig, which everybody's been chasing around like maniacs, um, limited to two hundred fifty. Um, so the set structure and I think the price structure was as such that everybody could get a bite at the apple, and a lot of people that had never been in the app back in those days could get a vintage. You know what I mean? Or uh, you know, or try to put together a set of these things. And twenty five hundred with no variants—that's the best part. Um, no variants on these things. It just boom, one one design. That's it. None of that bullshit that they've been doing. That's been driving us nuts. It felt like they really did everything right with this set, um, and people just went absolutely crazy. And then they said, "Let's let's tear down the app <laughs> and just burn, burn everything, burn it all, because nothing worked for God dang. I mean, most of the day after two p.m. and and the rest of the night, it's been a disaster. I, I I don't know about you guys. I had I ended up with fifteen unclaimed packs when it was all said and done, and um, pretty. I mean, I'm ninety nine percent sure that I didn't pay for all those fifteen packs. Um, yeah, something like I had that. Somewhere like twenty nine and twenty six on my mate and my alt, and a lot of those were coin packs, and a lot of those coin packs popped out vintages, um, and then sometimes it would I would get. Uh, a repeat at those those claim packs like they would come back and I would open them again and it would be the same exact cards again so I ended up with like um, eight Landos on, on one of my my devices and stuff I I, I feel like I because we saw that uh, product not available error yeah that we've seen yeah. pass on a really stress load 
and a lot of times it would say product not found or not available and it would just bounce out and then later yep, on yep. it wouldn't take any of your coins or your crystals and then you'd go in and there'd be all these unclaimed packs and they'd never dinged you for any of it. Yeah, I'm yeah we yep. saw that with we saw that with the Clone Wars signatures. The mm -hmm. same the same issue. That same exact era where you basically wouldn't charge you, then you'd go and find all these claim packs and open them up and bing, 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 you're getting stuff out of it. So um, that was a nice benefit of their disaster. I mean, it was, yeah. it was trudge to try to get through because those coin packs should have sold out in, I got to say, you know, five or ten minutes. 50K um, was a pretty nice limitation. I mean, that's yeah. a lot of packs. Uh, for people to hit, but with so many people going at it, obviously those should have gone a lot faster. And I think I don't; they should not have lasted an hour. They, they were active for almost half an hour, right? I mean, they were they were there for, for, for 40, 40 minutes or yeah, so. Well, yeah, yeah, so long, long time. I couldn't believe I kept going back in because I would, you know, everything would freeze up. We would just yep. spinning wheels, doom, close the app, go back in, and there's still coin packs there. I'm like, what is going on? And at some point, it seemed to like catch an equilibrium. They turned on enough servers or whatever the fuck, and the things just brrr, sold out pretty quickly. I don't even think they did anything, mate. I think it was just people just gave up. And so when you have that natural attrition rate of people going, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, and they just quit and then it just frees up some server space. I think, <clears throat> I think that I, I agree 100% agree with you in terms of pack structure price. I think it was really great. I liked how there was the avatar that you could get the avatar and you got enough uh, crystals for one of those six packs or whatever. Great idea. You know, again, it just gives people a bit of a taste. It's a great entry level. I like that there were, as you say, no variants. And I think if anything, it's proven that you can do releases like this that are limited, that are popular, that you don't need, you know, a, a thousand different variants of and you can make it work. I just think, man, they they, they, they got to fix, they got to fix the app structure the ui the 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 server issues are just it's it's a nightmare and i think if you're gonna you, like you want it you want people excited and everybody is you want people enthusiastic about a, a release everybody is you want people you know reasonably into the fact that there's a is a cool set most people are pretty enthusiastic about vintage coming back and all their award requirements and stuff i think man like you, like you wrap it in a in, in like a shit toilet that's not working so you're just gonna gonna really frustrate people. So I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna acknowledge those issues. Um, yeah. You know, because you're not gonna. You know, there's a lot of people. Well, certainly from the anniversary base trading that I've been doing, there are a lot of people coming back into the app for that. Um, that that had cards that were you know, quite old, if not very old, um, you know, dipping their nose back in again because they'd either send it on Instagram because they've got their Instagram account now and stuff, which is actually really well run. The image is really nice. I, I do like the irony of the Instagram quality uh, card images are better than, than in the app. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, well, wouldn't it well, be nice to... charge crystals on Instagram in no time, so get ready for that. Yeah, yeah. I just think, man, these previews are really nice and they're, you know, you know, reasonably sized on the phone and then you go into the app and they're like teeny tiny and you're like, well, you give flip into Instagram to see what the preview's like. But anyway, so, I, you know, the, 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 it's so hard. For, it's so hard for me because you get, well, I guess everybody, you get so infinitely frustrated because they've got the foundations for some really cool ideas. A lot of the prices have been really good. A lot of the accessibility has been really good for free to um, play players. Oh, I just think, man, like, fix the structure of the app. You know, like it's just it's it's a dog's it's a dog's balls. And when you've just and even like last night, still trading, it was just grinding. I was getting spinning wheels. I was getting errors I'd never seen before. I got some error where I, I like there was no text and I could scroll the bar. And then I had another error when I was opening packs where it was just the pack opening animation on loop over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And, over and, over and, over and it was just nothing coming My out. My wife just, got that. My wife got that. I was just like, guys, <laughs> really? You know, like, am I getting cards? What's going on? So I've submitted the ticket. I'll be interested to see what they say, but man, like I was just like, come on, like you've you've got people excited, people are actually enthusiastic about using your app again, man, like get it right. It's oh. yeah. oh, yes. you know, as bad as it was this week, you know, next week is going to be worse. I mean, people are going to jump with both feet on yeah. this shit yeah. at two o'clock. I mean, it's gonna they better you know, plug in all the fucking servers, turn the fans on the back and let's go because people are going to hammer the shit out of this thing every week because they've seen how hot the trading is. 
these people that you know get like one or two vintages are getting crazy stuff for you know for one or two vintages it's crazy do you guys you, yeah. guys, you guys use their other apps did they grind to a hold as well because often when there's releases they on, all did they, they all did. did right yeah yeah I was busy and I didn't look at anything else it was all about Star Wars and all about vintage for me I'm a huge I fan. tried to do a little Disney and a little bit of Bond, and they were both terrible uh, at this similar time and I think I tweeted from Horkus I'm like I proved this proves time and time again that this build is not equipped to handle an app or a release of this popularity no, no. so you, we saw it with the the chrome packs we saw it with the uh, rise of skywalker packs we've seen it with the clone Wars signatures we've seen it with vintage we've seen it whenever anything popular drops even on the marvel side all these apps that are tied to this same build and server yeah. just shit the bed every time well here's the solution like, they should just release the rest of these cards on slam <laughs> I thought you, I thought you were going to say UFC there for a second. Yeah, UFC. Those guys wouldn't know what the fuck happened to them. It's just it's like there's people here. <laughs> just like one or two guys just kind of staggering around trading punch them cards. Yeah, yeah. Now one one thing we didn't talk about the sick. We all got one, right? The Kylo Sig. Yes. Um, yeah, we were. Uh, a lot of folks are very <laughs> lucky. Yeah. And Alan was very lucky. I pulled one, and then I Chris was, like kind of pissed at me. Um, but luckily, Alan pulled like three, and she was able to raise her hand in time to get one of those off of him. And um, but that's a really nice design. That's the vintage two design. Yeah. Um, which again, like a, an homage. Um, and uh, you know, a nice choice of design for the look of that. We saw a dark ray as a preview, mm -hmm. which was not the one we were expecting. Um, but we got a Kylo Ren, but that dark look really looks great with those, you know, bad bad guy sinister characters. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had like an Emperor. Um, hopefully, it's with him. Cool. We all check out my yeah. shirts. Yeah. <laughs> oh baby, look at my sweet pecs, you know. Or uh, may maybe we can Don't we don't can don't rub yourself when you're doing that for anybody listening. Greg <laughs> Greg's just <laughs> sitting there rubbing himself like sensually. Right for the you know? nipples too, you know. Don't, don't <laughs> coronavirus, don't touch yourself. Stop touching yourself. It's disgusting. Yeah, so so do we get we get an Ian McDermott? We already know Dark Ray might be the if is there an award for those or no award for the SIGs? I don't know. I don't think so, no. They're just no. kinda I, I, I think it's just a perk for picking up the crystal packs each week. I think yeah. is. those are going for thirty points on the on the on the bay um, yep. after having settled down. Um, they were yeah, those are two fifty count. Those are low. Those are low count. Two fifty. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think the fact that the, the fact that they're not involved in the award process, I think, is probably a good thing at that count. Um, yes. Um, so I think that'll keep well certainly keeps me sane because I flipped it yesterday for for a season one award. But um, yeah. Wow. Nice. But I, I thought the card choices, the, the, the look of the cards was uh, really good. I was so happy to see that Babu Frick. I love that. Yes, house. yes, yes, yes. And the, um, the Starkiller base one really reminds me of the Happy Fun Ball. Yep, correct. Um, it's, it's a very similar, you know, looking card. Um, I, I really, really like the cards a lot. I have, I've, you know, finally once I got done with the flurry last night and sat down and, and thumbed through and looked at the cards, I thought the, the image choices were really solid and the way that they, mm -hmm. they, they fit with that old vintage look. They did everything in there. Brandon Bernard, if you're the guy that did that, just a beautiful homage to the original set. They really worked together. Um, the only thing that was missing was those crazy numbers on the back. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It didn't yeah. make any sense. You know, everyone's like, that's our number one. It's like, nope, that's not correct. Yeah. <laughs> they never had any have a reason to those. Also, they don't have the, all the original vintage have the slightly uh, redesigned thumbnail image when you're actually in the in the pack section. Right, yeah. So the card section. Correct. Yeah, it's like a slot, it's slightly zoomed in, and it's just a slightly different. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I thought. Was, man, that would have been cool to do that as well. You know, like yeah, because the base was the, the S one base are the same. They have a zoomed thumbnail, yeah. and then they have a you know when you go out, there's a large large view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, most of those early 2015 inserts had did as well. Up and all through like all the marathons, the galactic moments, all those things like that. They all had their their little thumbnail views, and then you'd expand it and you get the full full card view. And I, I really miss that. I know it's like one more thing to load and and try and capture each time, but it was always just a nice little touch. Yeah, no, I'm lo I'm looking forward to what the rest of the images are. I'd love I'd love to see some, oh man, like Rogue One vintage images or 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 you know, from my personal you know uh, OCD a solo set, you know, um, 
vintage works, man. Like, you know, people love it. It's just a nice little feel good, you know, remember this? This was when the app was fun. Yeah. And uh, no, no, not saying it's not fun now, but, you know, like it's just, it's it's across the board. They remain popular cards. People like them. They like the design. Just milk it, man. Like give us give us some Rogue One or give us some, you know, give us some Solo or, um, you know, I mean, imagine imagine a, imagine a Rebels vintage. I would love a Rogue One. I, I think Rogue One vintage would be amazing because that so much of the look and the <clears throat> the ships and the uniforms and all that stuff all fits with the OT so so exactly. nicely. They did that though. I mean, when they when they went and did Vintage Two and then they did Vintage Three and after a while it's just like okay enough with the fucking vintage. And it's been a long time since they've done any of it. And it's. Uh, I think, it, uh, I mean, talk about bringing people back. We, you know, we were joking about, okay, watch for so and so any second now, <laughs> boom, there they are in the feed. Yeah, there yeah. were so many people like that who were like, God damn it, I was done with this shit. And then you talk about fucking vintage, I have to come back for that. Yeah. It was one of, the, uh, one of those things that people had to do. Um, I, we haven't seen a wide vision in quite a while. That's another, um, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be interesting to see if, if they hearken back to that as well, um, or if this was just a fifth anniversary thing. I mean, in, in terms of the, the theme of fifth anniversary, god damn, you just couldn't pick a better thing to do. I, I they're, We call them idiots all the time, but they were sure as hell smart about this one. Fix the app and the, the uh, oh, I don't know, it's so, fr- so frustrating. So frustrating. I think they, want, they should want to fix the app because I feel like the errors that we're we're talking about probably cost them money. Oh, 100%. I think there's sure. I think there's a lot of free packs that went out because of these this error. Um, and you know anybody that's going, you know, oh this sucked. I should get free crystals. No, we got a shitload of free cards. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Yeah. Um, so you know that's that's bullshit to be you know even you know sawing on that old fiddle. Um, but. Yeah, that it was. I think it's warranted to be frustrated. I, 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 I do feel for people that maybe their internet connection isn't as good, or the, or the, or, or their, their phone's not as new, or, or you know. That will tell you if your your connection's not good. You, it just tells you. Yeah, like uh, you know, people. <laughs> ma- ma- yeah, 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 yeah. True. Yeah, all, all the all the time, even if you're on fiber. Um, <laughs> but 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 you know, somebody's at a cafe trying to do it, or you're out and about. I mean, you can't be on the app all the time, right? But I just think I, I, I feel for those people because if you're, you know, you. You're probably just about as excited as anybody else is, and you can't. You, you constantly get, you know, trading Fat Albert errors and stuff. It just, yeah, I don't know. it's frustrating, man. No, I think one of the things with this vintage release that really holds true is we're talking about good content and good cards really drives the demand. Okay. This is this is a, a case where these cards are placed into rare, but ultimately it's the content and the quality of the cards and the demand is what drives drives the the people towards those trades and value mm-hmm. not what tier they sit in and for so long now since the new build they've tried to pigeonhole all these cards into a certain rarity and ultimately this is 2500 but this is going to be worth more than half of the 50 counts and 10 counts that yeah. i get it doesn't it doesn't really matter you know where it sits it's what the value is what the demand is and and are people interested in the content? Mm. And it just drives me nuts when you see new people come in being like, trading my legendary, trading my super rare. We'll do anything for a super rare. <laughs> and I was like, why? D- who cares? This, this is shit. Yeah. You know, this this is shit over here. I'll give you a super rare for some base of, because this one was free. You know, this, this uh, you know, tilt card that was free. It sits in super rare. It's got 50,000 count. Why do you want that? Mm. You don't want that, but you, you're you're trained to say super rare is valuable because it's super rare, but no, it's, it's good content demand and value. Well, it's funny because it makes you wonder as tops finally coming to terms with the fact that this, this tier system that they've been selling on and trying to drive the mentality around is, is just not going to work. It's not going to be an arbiter of value. It's, it's, you can't predetermine that just by putting something in a tier by, by, any stretch of the imagination, according to their system that they set up, nobody would trade a super rare or epic or even a legendary for one of these twenty five hundred count rare cards. But people are, and and and, and their little system is as 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 adorable as it is falls down in two ways. The first way is people can't figure out, or new users can't figure out what this tier ten nine eight seven six 
areas versus what is legendary, right? And so if you've got all these 1cc and 2cc cards, as many of us do in your tier 10, visually, if you're coming into the app, you're like, well, that must be worth less than what is legendary. But that's not necessarily the case. So that... That's halfway. Correct, exactly. So it's like, well, that must be, you know, why is it, you know, and so that's where that falls down. The other thing goes back to what we were talking about right at the beginning in terms of my quest to put together the set now in two weeks <laughs> is that the, the, the value is driven by the users and the community. So overnight, the value for vintage changed. Overnight. Mm-hmm. So yeah. even though they were sitting in legendary, overnight, there's an announcement. We're giving away a whole bunch of, you know, vintage hands that we've scored from other people. Um, and, oh, by the way, it, the demand has now created that interest. So you see the value of, as Greg was saying, a a, a, a Luke Award that was pretty run of the mill. You probably could have picked it up on the eBay for 20 bucks is now $50. And that's what creates the value within the app. And so calling them, putting them in the particular tiers or trying to create a false sort of environment around all oh, this, this Obi-Wan signature is legendary because we put it in legendary. Well, that's that's not the case. And absolutely nobody, nobody, hand on my heart, was trading any of yesterday's vintage for a rare. Like, it just wasn't happening, you know? Yeah, it, it, nobody was. Nobody was going to go, oh, yeah, I'll take your legendary, I'm using quote marks, um, uh, Obi-Wan signature, and I'm going to I'm gonna trade you. Like, it, nobody was doing that, right? And so I think... Um, Find a different system because that's not going to work, and that's not educating people. Because you, if you, if you want to grow the user base and they're going to come into that environment, it's just going to piss people off. It really will because you can't learn in that environment. You need to learn the way that you or I learned when we first started, and that was communicating with people, talking to the community, building relationships, and that's what collecting is. It's relationships. It's not what the company tells you what the value is. It's what your friends and the community says is what what is valuable, whether a, a card has been hoarded by a particular character. That creates value. You know what I mean? Like that's... That's what drives value. You know entirely what you mean. <laughs> and I, 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 I think that I, I, I'm always, I'm so fucking optimistic sometimes. I bitch and I swear and I cuss and, and stuff like that. But, but no, you just, no, I, you I, don't. No, you don't. I tend to be like ridiculously, <laughs> stupidly optimistic. And I feel like, I hope that, <laughs> I pray that. This this release and what this set is says something about the mindset of the people that are in charge mm. of the app that we enjoy and love so much, um, that they're starting to come around and they're starting to understand what it is that the community, that the market wants. Mm. Um, and being able to plug into that is going to give them the reins on our fucking wallets. <laughs> they're going to have the tools that they need to just open up our fucking safe and take money out every week if they want to. Um, I feel like... Well, maybe yours. I've, weeks, got, I've got two weeks to do vintage, so maybe, maybe your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about... I, I think they're starting to understand. They're starting to get a handle on what this app is and what it is to people and what it can be for us and what they can use against us um, so it's a double-edged sword and what the future could be so so what the longevity could be and and and, and as i said you can create this kind of demand for a brand new set it's not difficult yeah. you just have to exactly. listen to your graphic designers and listen to the community about what we like in terms of structure and set design and 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 it's they, they could do it tomorrow because we've seen sets that come out of nowhere that all of a sudden are just like boom it's just like the hot shit the reflective gloss or the lightsaber warrior um you never know where that next big legendary set is is it could be right around the corner it could be on a the hard drive on Brandon Bernard's computer right now. Yeah, I gu- I guarantee he's got three ideas sitting in his head that 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 would would create the same demand and the same community enthusiasm that would be a new design because um, he's a pretty he's a, he's a pretty smart cat and he's and he's got a great eye for design and I think if if someone sat him down in a room and said we trust you give us three sets uh, he, he he'd do it you know but obviously you have to get it past Lucasfilm and stuff but I just you know I think man like. You use this as a learning experience and maybe do away with this idea of everything has to be in a tier and you have to call it legendary when it's not and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the community will create the demand. Don't 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 pigeonhole sets out from the bat by creating variants or, or, or limiting the scope because that just frustrates everybody. You know, there's very few people that are going to get excited about a set that's got three variants. Guarantee it. Yeah, the, 
the one thing we haven't talked about yet is the vintage Han Redemption uh, oh, tickets yes, that are yes, out yes, there. Yes, 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 yes. On, only one of them went yesterday. They they, oh, yeah. oh, they yeah. set aside three. They yeah. set aside three. It was what one in ten thousand something like that. Yeah, and and only one was one, <laughs> one was pulled. And when the the packs sold out, when the the cards sold out, the twenty five hundred and the two fifty for the six. Mm. The packs remained with just base cards. Really? With the one in 10,000 shot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's just straight bullshit. Seriously, guys. You, you got to roll those over to next week or do a fucking giveaway on Twitter or Instagram or something. That is not the way to go to just leave those in the packs. And I think that's probably a, a weekend crew type decision. Can I make a bold prediction? Can I make a, can I just throw like a, like a really bold, um, mic drop prediction? No. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm well, we're not going to stop you at this point. The future boy is going to make a bold prediction. Here we go, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, you've got you've got Done. Gray Sports Almanac already. Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead, Biggs. To give it, tell us the future. From the future, I'm going to tell you what the future is. None of them will be redeemed. Mm. I wouldn't. There's no way. None of them will be redeemed. Well, Not one. The well, actual I, redeem card itself will be more valuable. Give them the card and let them keep the redemption. Right. It would be funny. You know what they should do? If they let them keep the redemption, then they should. Pop a hole in it. Um, when you remember, did you ever see it? <laughs> do you know what they'd do? Do you know what they'd do? They'd make it untradeable. They'd make it untradeable. I guarantee you. Either that or like the mark, like a marker across it or yes, something like yes, that. Like a marker. Yes, like, yes, yeah. yes, straight exactly. down. They yeah. used to do so to redemption cards so that it was, you know, you couldn't redeem yeah, it yeah. again. No. So that would be a really fun touch if they were going to let them keep the ticket yeah. to just pop a hole in it or put a big red X across yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, magic cool. marker, That'd really sloppy. Fun. That would be a riot. And I think it would be uh, worth more than Vintage Han, honestly. We see yeah. Vintage Han for 40, 50 bucks recently. Um, it's Not probably- anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just traded, I had a dupe Vintage Han for I don't know how long, and I literally just traded it like a week ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I traded it for a Mus- I, I traded it for a Mustafar, uh, about, you know. There's about eight people that I dealt with over the weekend and that, that are having the exact same conversation with themselves right now, yeah. going, this yeah. idiot traded me this over the weekend and I thought, I only know. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are, what are your thoughts, before we wrap up, what are your thoughts on this being the first sequel trilogy content as a vintage? Everything else was original trilogy. I know you said you'd love to see Rogue One, you'd love to see Solo, but how do you feel about this being the first foray outside of original trilogy, and should they do more to capture the entire saga? I think we already covered it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like, solo vintage, like I love Rogue One Solo, you know, vintage. Like, I, know, I know four what? people that would drop their wallets for a Rebels one, you know what I mean? Like, I just think, just would do it. Would a prequel vintage oh, set right, sell. Yeah. would would you yeah, would you right. want a sandy haired um anakin or or possibly a, a wato or a sabulba vintage there's, would there's, the demand there be there for that there's one person on this call right now that wants a jesus obi-wan vintage i can tell you that much yeah that's true that's true <laughs> I think, i'd love to have a space jesus um vintage that'd be amazing with him going look at look at all the fucks i don't have to give yeah. I, I think that would be amazing I, you know if they didn't overdo it I have to, if they just keep you know okay we prime the pump let's just keep going um I don't think anybody's going to enjoy that. But I think you can take a cue from Prime, the first release of Prime. That was that was that that, that was sort of the the cousin, I suppose, of, of of vintage when it when it first dropped. Again, great design, great image image selection, and that and there was massive demand. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Hoth, Hoth, Hoth Prime and stuff. So you know, like they can do it. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a vintage package, but they can create that demand with that great, really simple. Uh, slick looking, um, not overly designed, good image selection. You know, you know, you know, they can do it again. I mean, the structure of this one, the way that they did it, would have worked as a weekly in, in 12, 12 mm. hour drops. That's that's you know four and then four and then four. If they wanted to try that as a weekly down the road with one of the properties that we've talked about, I don't think people would hate it. Um, I, I think yeah. people would be okay with that as a, as a. It's not a marathon, um, but as a weekly, I think people would accept that probably if they don't overdo it. I'm trying to think like the the vintage set with like a date night Padme, but then also oh the, at the same at the same time 
<laughs> at the same time, it's like, oh, come on, date night, pad me. And then you're like, Jira. <laughs> Your scope for pulling garbage there all of a sudden is quite, yeah. it's quite large. Yeah. God, the, God, the more collectors would lose their minds for a more vintage, wouldn't they? They would absolutely oh, lose their my- minds. Goodness, and a cup. They could do like a couple mall. They could do like the hooded mall. They could do like the the constipated sliced in half mall. Oh, what a great they card! The, Bit of blood yeah. goo across the bottom of it. That'll be great. When when I saw Ray Park at Celebration, he was saying that when he was doing that scene, they told him like, "What what face should I make?" And they're like, "Look constipated," <laughs> and that's what he. That's the face he made. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Quick little shout out to the person that decided all the captions for the new vintage cards as well. They're, they're just, they're, they're perfect for, for yeah. you, know, you know, I just think, yeah, d- design wise, caption wise, maybe give us some little icons, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, no, great job, great job. Just fix your fucking app. <laughs> <laughs> a long and short of it right there. Beautiful yeah, that set. seems like really a great place to end. <laughs> And scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, tell about well, find us, Adam, and then you can yeah. go cook hamburgers for your family. Yeah. So, um, thank you once again, Biggs. Appreciate it. I, I know it's uh, in the future. It's it's tough to uh, get away sometimes. So it's fine. We've, it, so. We've, we've we've survived coronavirus. So you guys have just got to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> just twelve more hours to go. <laughs> so for AW Biggs in app. Ted Salas, AC Destroyer. Um, thank you for joining us on this vintage uh, special. Be sure to follow us at Horcast on Twitter, Horcast at gmail.com. Follow, subscribe, Stitcher, Apple Sound, Apple Podcast, and SoundCloud. And if you'd like to get on in on the conversation, 904-628-1138. It's 904-628-1138. And we'll see you next time. Arrivederci! What are you saying in New Zealand instead of Arrivederci? Fuck off. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Done. Perfect. We are Legion. We are all. We are all. We are one. We are watching. We are watching. We are watching. We are watching.